Hey guys and welcome back to the BS Society. So the last gacha game that I would like to cover is Dark Summoner. The worst gacha game I have played in my life. Basically, it's even worse than Destiny Child. It is the most lackluster gacha game I've, I've played. Y'all think Raid Shadow Legends is bad. Dude, this one has no effort. I mean, I know Raid Shadow Legends copied other people's gameplay. <laughs> At least the gameplay is better. <laughs> Dark Summoner was made in a time where basically the main gameplay was you just tapping. And you had to sit there and tap. No, no auto battle, no... Well, there was auto battle, but there was no repeat auto battles. Um, there was two energy systems. One was your main energy system, which you pretty much used in events, and now the campaign. And the other one was your battle points that basically you used for PvP. Oh, and you couldn't make teams that were bigger than your battle points. Because, obviously. You know, so playing at the beginning of the game, even if you get the good units, you're screwed. Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic! Uh, yeah, that was great. Um, at least when I started, you got no gacha currency. I mean, I complained about not getting enough gems and girls front line. There's been worse. Trust me, there's been worse. And even then, it's still worse. Try only getting about, what, 10 soul gems, I think you got, per week? Oh, keep in mind, you still need about 300 for a single pull. So you're waiting about a year or two just for a single temple. Though there again, I think their pity rates are actually much lower. I think I think the pity rates are only like ten pulls to guarantee you stuff. And I mean like the good stuff. So um and now they give you like a bunch of skill points for your initial quests and stuff, which is kinda nice. So there's not that much of a pain to get enough battle points for your new newer teams. They also give you a free God Rank Crystal, which is basically your strongest units. You know, Dark Summoner is basically just like Girls Front Line and Destiny Child, where you get a bunch of gacha tickets. But unlike Destiny Child, you don't get anything for gacha currency. Now, there is a shop that can give you free potions. I'm not sure about free battle point potions, but they give you free energy potions that can refresh the maximum. There are some energy potions that only refresh to 100. Free-to-play players can save as many of these kind of potions as they want. If you have Twitter, you can get additional potion every day from that. Um, and this shop, I believe, can give you like one of two units. One of two units for free. I don't think you can get them both. And this little shop, basically, you use when you get rid of your A ranks and higher. Just because you don't want them. Right? Whether they just don't shoot your team, whether they just don't suit your team's needs, or they're just too low of a rank. Personally, I always got rid of basically anything under God rank because God rank is obviously the best. Um, and it's a pain in the neck to level up units. Basically, to limit break units, not only do you need duplicates of them, you need duplicates of the same rank, unless they're like within like the same tier. So you know, if it's like a double S rank plus, you basically just need another another double S rank, right? But if it's a unit that only comes in S rank, how many duplicates do you think you're going to need? Exactly. And then you can limit break your units, which, oh wait, resets their level. Which, keep in mind, basically means all their stat goes... Pfft. Um... The skills is also a pain in the neck because you basically need duplicates of the skills or what's called like a, you know, there's basically like these souls that can give you a bunch of extra XP or can increase the skill level or they give you a skill of a certain type, you know, whether it's like attack or defense or whatever. Um, you know, so it's kind of important to see what they do. Um... So, yeah, that's how you level up skills. So, fun thing there, right? Um, you still have your different types of enemies. Or, you know, your different types of units. Um, 
Oh, and the thing about the shop that you can get rid of your units that you don't want to get extra currency, this is where you can get your slot expansions. No gotcha currency required here. Girls Front Line, Azure Lane, Epic Seven, Destiny Child. The only one that beats Dark Summoner on this is Honky and Genshin. Because you don't even need slot expansions on those. Oh my god, Dark Summoner is actually good on something? Y'all making yourselves look bad. And, oh, we get a bunch of people that want to defend Girls Front Line and... Well, maybe not Azure Lane. Because haven't really had many issues with that community yet. I mean, I'm sure they're pretty understanding. Most people in the Azure Lane community, at least in game, are pretty chill. But Girls Front Line community, oh no, gotta defend the devs to no end. Yet Dark Summoner is doing better than Girls Front Line. That's sad. Pathetic. Um, PvP and Dark Summoner don't fail on purpose because you'll lose gold every time you uh, fail. In gold, you need a lot of, especially if you're not using souls to level up your units, you need a lot of gold. Um, but yeah, so you can have up to 300 monster, or you know, you can have up to 300 slots for units, and then you can have an additional like 200 or so for from a monster cage that you also get from the shop. Now, keep in mind, you have to buy this new, or this you have to buy the monster cage key every month because it does expire every month, but I think it's that hard to get. Right? That's why I like Dark Summoner. And keep in mind the extra slot expansions and stuff, they also give you them through other means, you know, like events and stuff. So I'm still just reminiscing over how Girls Front Line and Azure Lane fails to give you so many slots. At least Destiny Child and Epic Seven give you enough, enough gacha currency to get more. I don't feel like waiting a month just to get enough gems for 10 additional T-Doll slots. Pathetic. I would expect more from a free-to-play gacha game. And that is why I called it Disguise Free-to-Play. Um, the events in Dark Summoner can kind of get tedious to farm. They pretty much start on Thursday and end on Tuesday. So pretty much Wednesday is your no event days. They're pretty much always reruns. I mean, the units might change, the units might be new, but it's pretty much always a rerun. So it, it kind of gets samey after a while, and that's basically the problem with it. The last time I played, and I think even the time before that, they finally added a story, but I don't really follow the story in Dark Summoner, so don't expect much from there. At least all the other gacha games that I've covered thus far have some kind of a story, but that one doesn't. Shame. So, yeah. Basically, I'm giving Dark Summer the exact same amount of time it deserves. About 10 minutes. Because after that, you pretty much know exactly how it works. You know? Hi, dog. I know y'all probably can't hear it, but I'm staring at him. It's daytime now. Ah, <laughs> oh, fool. You know, I wonder if this dog will ever break from his uh, fence one day. I don't know about y'all. You know, c kind of getting off topic. But why do people keep dogs in their backyard? If you're going to own a pet, have it in your house. Treat it like it's your friend. Or, you know, especially your family. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um. Yeah, but... Dark Summoner is honestly the worst gacha game I've ever played. And I've even asked my brother, who's the one that got me into Dark Summoner. My brother's currently played, playing Raid Shadow Legends, and I even asked him which one he thought was worse. And he said he thinks Dark Summoner is worse than Raid Shadow Legends. Yes, a gacha game worse than Raid Shadow Legends. At least the artwork's good. Honestly, for those of y'all that like looking at Nientai, there's Dark Summoner for you. Yeah. <laughs> y'all thought the artwork in Azure Lane was good. No, Dark Summoner definitely beats it. Um, but besides that, 
and besides the ex the slot expansions, Dark Summoner doesn't really have any other redeeming qualities. Keep in mind too, Dark Summoner is probably what twelve years old, maybe now. I mean, it was. 10 years old when I played it last time which was 4 years ago so 14 I wonder if that game is even still functioning I might have to re-download it <laughs> it's amazing how long a gacha game can last that is the one unique thing I've seen about Dark Summoner yeah. anyways I've noticed that I am indeed rambling on um I think I'll make an update video in the next video instead of in this one. So with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.